It's like, I guess it just adjusts the score, really. Yeah, yes. So like a, I'd like a button to kind of like stomp down like in Vault Times the pre yes. sequel. That'd be so useful here. <laughs> Someone's watching, it's like, you didn't get all the stars, you scrub Oh my god. I would 100% run, not. I would love to see the MLG like Magic School Bus competition. That would be the funniest thing. No one learns better. Oh, we ran out of air. Your prize is no air. <laughs> I'd say it's heavy, but we're on the moon. So, I think we're about done here. Okay. Cool. And a cow jumped over the earth. Okay, I get it. <laughs> it's a pun. Is it? It's kind of a visual pun. Yeah, I guess. Okay, so now we have a floating coin. Why don't we get one of those clues? Sweet. The regolith here is up to my ears. What'd she say? The vegan? Um... The regolith here is up to my ears. Regolith. Alright, hold on. Make us say it again. The regolith here is up to my ears. The regolith. I... I... Okay, we need to find out what that word means. <laughs> Let's go on an adventure to find out the meaning of what on earth she's talking about. Up to her ear. Maybe she's in the sun. Oh, can we go to the sun? It's like, Behold, yeah. children, I am Ra, destructor of all. Oh, my favourite planet was always Saturn, because Saturn is the best planet. I mean, look at it. Yeah. It's got rings. We, we got there quickly, though. There's no animation wow. for this one. Yeah. If only it was that quick to get there. Miss Frizzle could, like, do excellent science projects with her faster-than-light travel. She's a basically bus. a wizard. I'm amazed she hasn't been hired by, like, the government. Yeah. I wonder if every school was like this. I mean, I would love to be sent to this place. And then you years could... later, no one believes you when you talk about your primary school field trips to the moon. <laughs> Miss Rizzle could have colonized Mars in the 90s. Oh, right. That's how powerful she is. And like, are these two meant to be related um, or something? Because they look very similar. I only saw... Hi, Janet. DJ Jazzy Janet. Yeah, boy. Janet. That's a girl. Just call me your highness. I'm here to tell you about the moon call mammoth. Mimus, your highness! Mimus got a crater a third its own size, not something you'd order with a side fry. Oh, this isn't a wrap. Just shut your crying, shut your fuss, cause I'm the match rapper of the match school fuss! <laughs> <laughs> that was the whitest thing I've ever seen in my life. And I've seen you try to rap. Good God! <laughs> I've tried to rap before, hell no. <laughs> yeah, it was like... Well, sorry you had to see that. <laughs> From here, Saturn's rings look smooth and solid. But if you look closer... You can see that they're really made of dust and rocks and ice. How does that... Well, genuine question. Mm. Why is all that in like a solid ring? Is it like... Well, Gravitational some... currents or something. I think it's an orbit around it, maybe? Yeah, but why wouldn't it be an orbit, like, all over? Oh, wow. Well, that just raises more questions. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a ring. Saturn has just got a big, giant, permanent rainbow. Tell me more about this Did place. Did you know that Saturn's made of stuff that's lighter than water? That means it could float if you found a big enough bathtub. Yeah, but it would leave a ring. Where did you get that book? Arnold, you have one chance. Don't screw this up. A poem by Arnold. <coughs> Next! There once was a moon we called Mimus, with craters that said, come and climb us. Climb us! Climb us! With mountains so high, they reached to the sky, and no creepy aliens to slime us. Well, that's clearly just incorrect poem, because you just got slimed. Well, you did not rap, so we are off to a great start, Arnold. <laughs> also, you can't climb craters. You but can't. then you mention mountains. Your poem sucks. Anyway. <laughs> Continue I'm very on. judgmental of poetry. <laughs> Welcome back to Ravenstein for Ex Your Childhood. <laughs> Saturn is easy to recognize because of its rings. They look solid, but actually they're made of rock, ice, and dust. Have fun designing your own rings. Ooh. Okay, what do you want to go for? Crank to move the dispenser into place. 
Mm. Click on the bins of rock, dust, or ice. Fill the rings and make Saturn rotate. Okay. Oh. Okay, so we can go to like different levels. Oh, like make rings further out. That's cool. So let's start with the inner ring. What do you want there? Uh, rocks. Um, would that be red? I think so. It looks it looks rocky. Okay. More. More rocks. Can we just keep piling on rocks? Yeah. All the rocks. Yeah. <laughs> we are not very really imaginative. No. Okay, let's um, let's intersperse around here. We gotta be artistic and edgy. I'd like to find a planet that just has like seven rings, all in different orbits. That'd be cool. Okay, we've got just a little bit left, and let's put all in the outer ring. Yay! I quite actually, I'm, I'm proud of this. Yeah, it's a big flower in space. Yeah. Hope oh, you're learning or something. Uh, <laughs> well, did you see that? <laughs> what? No. It's, um, it respawned the um, the rocks and sand and everything, but in a different place oh, to right. the empty ones, so they were kind of overlapping. Mm. Let's just uh, never hear that rap again. Oh, wow, we're back in space. Another. Damn yeah, it, Liz, you're cheating with a jetpack. Oh, oh yeah, I remember now. Assassin got heavier gravity. <laughs> yes. <laughs> It's, it's I like that Liz catches you just before you go and hit the atmosphere. It's kind of, Liz is buff for a lizard. Yeah. It's like, Woo I wish I could remember what kind of lizard she is. It's just on the tip of my tongue. It's like... A uh, newt? It's like, or she kind of looks like a big iguana or something. A uh, gecko. Or a... Chameleon? I have no idea. There was um, the only game out of the series like Whoa. that I had. Whoa, made. no! No, it's so slippery. I had a lot of trouble with was the Magic School Bus. It takes you all the way back to the beginning. Man, you gotta have saves. Oh, we need to save scum this. Quick save, <laughs> quick load. <laughs> I like how you do an unnecessary front flip. Um, um, slippery, isn't it? Items. You're on the ice belt, clearly. Go. Okay. Wait for it, wait for it. Is that extra air? Oh god, this game's so intense. No, no. Wow, that's really unforgiving. Damn LG. Oh, so pro. Oh god! Oh, so pro. I was. We can jump. I, I don't know if we can jump higher. I don't know what that does. We've just got fresh boots, I think, now. Uh, oh. oh, we got more. Clipping through. This is this, this is, is a nightmare. Welcome to our most desperate moment, as we cannot beat the magic school bus explores the solar system. We must complete this giant platforming puzzle on space brownies. Yeah. Wow. It's so slippery. Yeah. Ooh. Okay, I think I got get this. ready. No. Oh, oh, you gotta go right on the edge. You can't. You gotta stand right. On you gotta the also edge. time it. I mean. I know people who have. Uh, do those boots genuinely make you jump time, like higher? Maybe. Yeah. Yeah, they give you a slight jump boost. Okay, so okay. time. Okay. Go. Go. Nice. Oh wow, that's pretty. The only point we can only get <laughs> what? <laughs> do we have to jump to Liz? I don't know. I I don't even. Like, uh, that's as high as I can go, literally. <laughs> Is there a button, like a special button to super jump or something? Can you double jump? Oh, I can't believe I'm asking for help in this. Use the space bar to jump. Run or right by pressing on the arrow key. Click on the what's it if you want to quit for now. You can try again later. Take a break. Wap, wap, wap. Wap, wap, wap. <laughs> I think we need to stop. <laughs> Let us never speak of this again. What's that kid's name? Like, I've forgotten oh, all their names. But that's I'm so many get introduced in the intro, don't yeah. they? So, yeah. Okay. Uh, that rap so, is going to haunt me for the rest of this week. Yeah, it was pretty <laughs> abominable. It's pretty <laughs> grim. <laughs> so, what are our kids learning at school? Let's go to Pluto, the best not planet. Yeah. What is it classified as? Just a rock now. 
I think it's a planetoid, or... Uh, I'm, I'm not even sure. Wow, it's so far out, it's taking time to get there. There we go. Oh, I think maybe you can just kind of skip to them, or you can choose to go through the long animation each time. Ooh. Why would you not go for the animation? Look at this. Oh. Look at that artist interpre interpretation. It's just got such a charming art style to it. It's got to be freezing on Pluto. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now remember kids, don't go jumping or we'll never see you again. Do you have more poetry for us, Arnold? Here I am, all alone on Pluto, the last planet in the solar system. Nothing but empty space, all the way to the next star. Hey, Elvis. Why, Arnold, you look all shook up. Oh, um, the 90s. The 90s. It was a time. <laughs> it was a time. <laughs> I was too young to be Science like, oh, the 90s. An object has to go at just the right speed and angle to stay in orbit. See if you can send the bus into a perfect circular orbit. And if not, it'll fly out into deep space and never be seen again. Okay, let's... how do we launch? The bus? Hmm. Uh, You're oh, done. It's, it's an orbit. Can't deny that. work here is done. <laughs> I just want to see the bus like take off behind him. It's like, here I am, all alone on Pluto. Mercifully, as Arnold's report told us, there is low gravity here. So, all is well in the world. It's like the same as Saturn. Or maybe not, but... I can't run very far. I'm half expecting to see a flagpole you have to jump down. You know, I'm pretty sure Miss Frizzle put those there. Little jetpack platforms, maybe. Or like the obstacles. Maybe. Yeah. Uh, you gotta... It's a very floaty game. No! Oh, close. Nailed it. Ooh. Brave, brave. No. Very brave. You know, let's just go from here. We can do it. Wow. Okay, so that's where we need to get to, apparently. Are we 100 percenting this one? Okay. We've, we've got to. Oh, we missed... need to learn together oh. what these boots do. But don't you want to get that empty bottle of soda? We need to get that air. Oh, it's air, okay. Arnold is running <laughs> I, out of time. I thought Miss Frizz was just littering on the moon. Or a case, children, you run out of oxygen. I've scattered air canisters. It's a very real threat. Be afraid. What's he doing running on the spot like that? He's having fun on Pluto. Okay, I think the idea is that we get the jump boots. Okay. Oh, they have springs. Would, uh... Would yeah, they, they really do make you jump higher, it's just I was in such a low gravity place before. We did not Whoa. even notice. Can't see where the platform is. There we go. <laughs> whap, whap, whap. Arnold never went back to school again. <laughs> there we go. For running out of air, young man. We've talked about this. You really are going to run out of air. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe I'm getting owned by the magic school bus. To be fair, it could not have a slower jumping animation. Even MLG players would just be like, oh, yes, it's taking too long. Sheep shot at it. <laughs> nice. Woo! -hoo! Arnold brings home the gold. Nice. I forget we actually needed those. <laughs> I thought this was an optional extra. I keep seeing this kind of dust cloud appear occasionally. Oh! <gasps> What's up? <laughs> so. My name's Ludo. <laughs> so much swag on that cliff. <laughs> okay, let's use the coin. Yeah, oh, we have to, have to drag, drag it. it. Learning motor Brothers. skills. This place is the biggest thing in the night sky. The sun. Oh, wait, night sky? <laughs> uh, it'd be Jupiter then, wouldn't it? 
I guess. Yeah. Let's head to Jupiter next. Cool. Maybe we're too smart because you should get another clue. You can just, yeah. Jupiter's bigger than Saturn. Woohoo! Party on. Hasn't this thing got like a hundred moons? I think so. Yeah. I think Jupiter and many of its moons protect us from asteroids generally. Maybe. Okay. Hey, such a big lump of gravity. Time for education. Io's great! Look at all those volcanoes! But I thought only Earth, Mars, and Venus had volcanoes. It says here that Jupiter is bigger than all the other planets put together. In that it's a huge, huge, human, really big ball of gas. Well, mostly gas. Just like the sun. And if it had been bigger, it could have been a star. I was wondering why we weren't on Jupiter. I had forgotten that it is basically a big ball of gas. <laughs> it does explain a lot. That's I'm feeling educated. Spot. A hurricane as big as three Earths. It travels over Jupiter's surface, overtaking other storms in its way. Here, Spot. Catch! Ha! <laughs> ah. Wait. Uh. Jupiter's named for the King of Gods, because it's the biggest planet. That's right, Ralphie. And Jupiter has at least 16 moons. <laughs> With an excellent hat collection. Look at that. <laughs> Puff. <laughs> <laughs> we just love everything about this. It's like, damn it, the humans are watching. Cease the conga line. You know what time it is. Right. It is platforming oh, time. Wow, we could get burned alive in lava this time. This is that's terrifying. <laughs> Okay, we are going to need all the jump boots we can get here. Because gravity is... Okay, nice. Why can't we just keep the springy boots from the previous planets? Because they left Arnold on Pluto. Oh, Poor kid. I mean, I knew they would, but oh, Poor kid. <laughs> Woo! Oh, God! Right, <laughs> right there was Snowman! Right in the face. So many questions. I imagine it's still cold on IO with volcanoes. Imagining. So it's a moon with a magma core. Like. Is that legit? I think we're stuck now. We are stuck. We. <laughs> Just gonna casually dig him out of the lava. There are some things you cannot come back from. <laughs> It's fine, he purpose. signed up to the new U, um, new U Hyperion network. Oh joy. <laughs> <laughs> this frizzle runs Hyperion. Oh god, what a great mod that would be. <laughs> <laughs> I, want to, I want to play that now. The thing is, would that be an alteration to the Magic School Bus or an alteration to Borderlands? <laughs> Either way, it could work out hilariously. <laughs> Sounds like the best thing. My Jack takes you on a school trip. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, soup else, everyone. Hello <laughs> uh, to the king, baby. <laughs> <laughs> uh, terrifying. Absolutely terrifying. Uh, I've seen a bunch of things crossing this over with Danganronpa, and it works way too well. Magic school, oh god, yeah. No, you're right. That would be hilarious. <laughs> Get thrown into a volcano on Io. Okay, we've got to avoid falling down this time. So, <laughs> it tricks you in that you go down here. You've actually. What? Oh, they're out of sync with each other, aren't they? Ooh, you got to wait for the perfect moment. Woo! We nailed it. No volcano for us. Landed a volcano. <laughs> okay. Got that. Oh, that, that one's actually moving very slowly. Yeah. I like the music. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, this music screams educational game. Education. <laughs> oh, get oh, over there. This frizz just pops out of the volcano. <laughs> <laughs> it was me all along. <laughs> Look, children, I found a kraken. That's right. Okay, I think we need to jump over the volcano 
and then use yeah, the laser so. platform. Oh. It's a game of timing. Well, you don't need to land on the platform, you just need to get over the volcano. <laughs> because of the way the volcano moves, it kind of looks like a Monty Python animation. It does! Oh, that was close. Nothing out there. Which will break first? <laughs> this is... <laughs> this is really annoying. <laughs> The annoying thing is he'll, he'll take you back to the start if you fall in the volcano. Oh, MLG! Bro! Sponsored by Mountain Dew!